you know that uh, I belong to the telecommunication regulator. So uh, we had been actually trying to participate in this uh, focus group on the digital financial services since uh, the very first session. Uh, in the very first uh, two meetings, my chairman participated and later on I started joining this, you know, the journey. Um, right from the KL till to date uh, here at Geneva. So this particular uh, focus group actually it has a unique understanding regarding the digital financial services in the way that it actually subdivided its total you know the study in four different threads like it discussed with the uh, ecosystem it discussed regarding the technology innovations and the competition it discussed also with the consumer experience and then uh, last but not the least regarding the interoperability so the four basic requirements or you can say the four basic pillars of the digital financial services so uh, over the period, what I have understood is that the participants from different countries have uh, whatever uh, understanding and whatever practices in their market, in their industry, all, all revolves around these particular four pillars. So I should say that the, uh, this particular focus group is uniquely focused on all these four subjects, which is really uh, you know, very much uh, vibrant in the financial service industry that is emerging and uh, it, it will give a kind of sustainability in the, you know, the market, in the industry uh, for uh, years to come. Uh, that is a uh, unique say in the world right now that two billion people are still unbanked. Uh, you just consider about my country, uh, we have 160 million populations. So out of that, uh, around 130 million subscription we have it, as far as the uh, mobile uh, uh, connectivity is concerned. But then, if you just look at the accounts, in the mobile financial accounts, it is only around 37 million. And uh, unfortunately, half of them are inactive. So uh, you see, the immense potentiality in the growth of the financial activities over this, you know, the mobile, specifically the mobile financial services in the country like Bangladesh, which is a developing nation. I am sure this is also is the same case in all other countries which are developing, uh, maybe uh, 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 middle income countries of the world, uh, rather than the, uh, um, I must say that we, we have uh, a lot many things to take away from this particular focus group discussion so that we just put into our regulations, we put into our practices, we put into our industry so that it grows in a right way to build the trust over this digital financial services by the subscribers so that it really uh, have an effective role as far as the financial inclusion is concerned.